Okay, right. thousands of people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let, They're alive. Let, let, let's do a shout out. And, ladies and gentlemen, there's only one thing going on right now, and it's here. It's main stage. Join us. Come have a look. <laughs> Woo! You know, we love you, you sitting here. We love you most, more than anybody at the whole campus party. <laughs> it's like the last of the Mohicans <laughs> here right now. <laughs> exactly. It's been quite a day, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's one and, way to and, describe and, it. Okay, because we're going to show a few of the pictures of the things that have happened over the last day and a half. Can, can we have the pictures on screen? That would be nice. Ah, uh, they're coming, they're coming. Um, I would like to know first, before we go into this little talk show wrap-up thing, what you like most of the last day. The workshop, the speaker, I like speakers, the challenge, the demo. Okay, who goes first? Just, you know, one word, one sentence. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to throw it. You have to catch it. There you go. Yes. Oh, yes. I like that strategy <laughs> a lot. <laughs> what did you like most? Put it to your mouth, because then we heard. Yep. Okay, everybody else think now, eh? so that you can lose <laughs> the arms when it's your turn. Uh, the old uh, retro games, the arcade games. The retro yes. arcade games. Hey, retro okay, arcade throw games. it behind you. Oh, yes, what did you like most? Uh, I like the, the game design thingy from Adrian de Jong the most. Adrian de Jong, but awesome. he is super, awesome. super cool. Eh? He's a, awesome. Yeah, he is, actually. Who else? Who, who's, who's there? Who wants to say something over there? Yes. Yeah. I would say the last act was very entertaining. Yeah. Ebo Man. Yeah. Ebo Man. Ebo Man is our awesome. hero, right? He's a hero. He's a hero for did, sure. Did you go on stage? Yes. Did you videotape it, send it to your mother? Uh, no. He, <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> Someone probably uh, made a video of uh, of it. Yeah, and it's been live streamed to the world, ladies and gentlemen. So. Beautiful. It's out there. Probably a recap on YouTube or something. Okay, throw it over there. Throw it over there. We, we want to know these guys over there. They sit in the back. They're shy. They're <laughs> typical. Oh, yes. Oh, no, no, no. That's all wrong. Okay. Yes. What was your special moment of this day? Um, I most like the uh, R workshop where in three hours crash course you learn to program in R. And I... Really loved it. So nice. uh, 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 that's what campus party is for, right? Yeah. You know, your very people. Nice, very somebody nice. in, the, in that row over there. Right. You don't have all of them, but just somebody. <laughs> A woman. Oh, on her head. How can you do that? Just if you recover, just tell us. <laughs> favorite moment of the day. Oh, like somebody, come right on! Now. Oh, don't be shy. One you know? favorite moment from the day. You had to have at least one. It can be breakfast, but anything. Yeah. Well, the football game because I won. Ah, foosball. And now, and now one of those, you have three women, you know. Yeah. <laughs> one of them has but to say. still not the best. <laughs> one of them, tell your favorite moment. You want to hear a female voice. You want to hear a speaker. Name a speaker. No? Oh, come on. Practice, practice, practice. You can do it. Participate. Okay, I liked when we talked to a few of the startup companies in the back. Thanks, awesome. you. Thank you. Now over there. Just last, last rows over there. Throw it. Can you throw? Yes, sir. Oh, favorite <laughs> moment of the day. Nice. Tell us. Oh, is it off? That? Oh, yes. Go ahead. It's, we just got here. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Then this is your favorite moment of the day. I like that as well. Over there, somebody. Go ahead. Three more. Okay, then, then we'll stop. Oh, it's sister. <laughs> um, Speaker about the uh, rockets? Yes, ah. Max Wilson. Yes. Now you want to go to space Max well, right? Amazing. Yeah. And, and, and where are the women? Okay. There's a girl over there. Yes. Your favorite mo moment. Uh, my favorite moment was when we won the refugee challenge. Hey, nice. we'll talk to ah. you later on. You'll, you'll be Hold it. Hold it. I'll come back to you later on. Okay, one more. Somebody over there, over there? Throw it, just throw it, yes. You choice. <laughs> okay, okay. It can be done. You're the last one. Yeah, we also just arrived, but we went to the final of uh, Refugee Challenge, so nice. challenge. Ah, so, yeah, we good. saw the presentation, it was good. Yeah, oh, it's my favorite challenge as well. Refugee Challenge must be a big yeah. deal, Kitty. So what was your favorite moment of the day? Oh, wow. My favorite moment of the day was hearing from John. 
John Undercoff, yes. uh, Minority Report. Yes, Minority yeah. Report technology, learning about interfaces and how to create user I interfaces with a human-centered approach. I was yeah. blown away by a lot but, of what he created. But it's two things. Like, I mean, first of all, he's a really nice guy. Yes. And, and he's very clever. He's very, he can yes. explain. And then he's also sort of putting you in touch with a legendary movie. You know, you're now one step away you from Minority Report. You can't there you lose. Go. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite moment? Well, I've been sitting at my laptop all day. Any moment I could just walk around and see the buzz, you know. And I said, you know, just walking somewhere and saying, uh, there was a slide about the programming language and C++ is a new COBOL. I said, like, ooh, campus party. <laughs> campus party. I liked it. We want to just get a few people on stage very quickly. And first of all, I want to have our two VR guys here. Edward Hage and Joost Bossert. Can we have them on stage, please? Yes. Because my least favorite moment of the day is when I put together a speaking program, when I look around and everybody is out there at VR, virtual reality, and nobody's sitting here. Oh, so. It's a popular one. Come here, come here, come here. We're going to show two little movies. Let's start with, this is Edward and this is Joost. Can we have the first movie, please? Yeah, how, how are we going to so we, we, we attack them like this? Awesome, awesome. <laughs> so clearly that was like one of the hot ticket items of the day. Every conversation I passed, people were like, virtual reality, go, you have to go try it. Can you tell us a little bit about what it is and how it works? Uh, well, virtual reality is... Uh, it's closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah gotcha. is it done? Yes, you're on now. <laughs> I'm on. Um, basically, virtual reality is a glass that you can look through so that you can experience the three-dimensional new world um, as if you were there. So. That's basically virtual reality. You can do pretty much anything. But, but, but you, you got these people actually hanging there, right? Yeah. So what's the idea? Are you going to sell these things? Or is it for a fun park? Or where will this go? We started uh, this project <laughs> as a second year school project at uh, the HQU uh, wow. in uh, Hilversum. Cool. Uh, I study interaction design. And uh, my friend, uh, Stuart Burger, uh, studies uh, game uh, art. And we uh, also have uh, Kevin Derksen, who studies game design. Together we uh, created this uh, project with the, the, yeah, the thought of we wanted to give some more dimensional um, things to virtual reality. So we started okay. working on it, made a proof of concept, and now we kept on developing on it. Awesome. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, who has gone and done the parachute jump here? <laughs> like it? <laughs> yes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were quite busy, so sorry <laughs> for that. <laughs> It was uh, quite hectic. With so all the go stand in line tomorrow, and you, you, you can experience it as well. C can awesome. we ha roll the second movie? Because we have another VR uh, example here. Awesome. Thank you.
I'm like, I need to jump off stage right now and go experience that right now. So what's the concept behind it? How did you all come up with the, the softball approach? Um, we ca I came up with the softball approach because I'm a softball coach. Um, I've been in IT for a long time. Um, I'm a, I like visuals, photography, 3D design. So I started virtual reality and of course I take softball as the starting point. Um, so yeah, what, what we do is we make virtual reality sports training. So it's not games, but it's real serious exercises that will help athletes to improve uh, their technique, to improve their reaction skills, improve game tactics. And they all do this in VR. And the advantage of virtual reality is that you basically control everything as soon as somebody puts on the glasses. So you can control where the balls are, you can control how quickly they come towards you, you can do exercises a hundred times the same, or a little different every time. Awesome. So I started with softball. I'm working together with Han Hakkens. He's the tennis coach. And we developed this. Uh, and, and, and is this already out there? Can so you already yeah. buy it and use it? And um, no, we're still starting up. Mm -hmm. So we're here to uh, make, get people interested in it and hope that people will start buying it. And then uh, they can use it in sports clubs or uh, coaches. So uh, yeah, that's what we are here for. Yes, I don't need a mic. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, you have to change this one. Oh. There you go. Switch. switch mics. Yep. yep, better. So I don't know if people already did the softball practice or the tennis practice. Otherwise, stop by. We are here. We'll be here tomorrow and on Saturday. So, and if you guys want to try, you're welcome to join as well. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely stopping by to try at some point <laughs> tomorrow. Great. All awesome. right. Thank awesome. you guys very, Thank very, you very much. much. Right. Thank so, you. Yeah. There's another one out there with the bicycle, the big art ride, where you can actually cross Europe and see art. It's a very strange game because you have to cycle very fast, which means you don't see the art, but it's called the big art ride. Um, virtual reality is a big thing. They're actually they're showstoppers because the, we, we were, the, the whole event was on the 8 o'clock news, Dutch public broadcaster tonight, and of course, that was visual as well. The highlight of the news, yes. I'm sure. I've got to try that. I've never done anything virtual reality before. We're going to invite two more speakers here uh, on stage, Arthur and Julio. Join us, join us. Hey. <laughs> Brazil and Taiwan. Awesome, awesome. Yes, we are going all over. Let's, let's start with Arthur because he has a really, well, what is this? <laughs> yes. Oh, you are not alone oh, right now. We like this. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is, you're not responsible for this? <laughs> okay, we start with Arthur. Just, just yeah. grab microphone. It's sure. probably easier if you, if yeah, you just... Yeah, you can hold it. Oh, no, he can't, he can't yeah, hold so it. I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> can you press the... Yeah. That one. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Hey. Wow. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, you, you can see this. This is Lego, <laughs> you know. Amazing. Super, super cool, this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, tell us a little bit. What, what yeah. are you making? What is this? Well, uh, it's, um, it's a humanoid. And um, to control it, I use an exoskeleton. And um, the idea it is, I use everything that's just but Lego. Put the microphone a little bit. Yeah. Yes. So everything is just Lego. So, yeah, it's a very nice project because we can inspire a lot of people because they have Lego at home. And uh, kids can be spider with that, so they can, um, they feel that can really make something that. Though. So it's it's amazing. Yes, wow. when I, when we got to invite speakers for this event, you know, as you know, I can do I can play favorites, right? So I looked at some of the videos that came past my screen in the last few months, and one of them is yours, and I think the whole world has seen it by now. Yeah. Can we roll the third video, please? <laughs> Because then you know we've got internet celebrity in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if it works. I, they got a video very late, my fault. Ah, there you go. Awesome. Today, whether it be for peace or war, we Westerners depend on wings. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. That's one small step for man. Who's 
that. <laughs> it's a really nice piece. Um, last year, I was hired by a company in the US to create uh, that machine that could fold paper airplanes. Um, and they, love, they loved the, ma the material, and uh, they paid an ad in Super Bowl. So it was really amazing. <laughs> and uh, that, I'm quite impressed because this machine really works. And uh, it's a one-year-old machine, a Lego machine. And uh, last week, I was in a Maker Faire in uh, San Francisco. And in just one day, that machine made 150 airplanes. <laughs> wow. So uh, it's a really nice one. <laughs> wow. Oh, compliments. Can people see more of this uh, yes, tomorrow? Yes, you can go to my YouTube channel. It's just Arthur Sacek. And uh, you can just Google it, and uh, you are going to find a lot of more machines and other stuff. That's the milling machine that it, it's uh, really awesome. I just got uh, 100,000 views in just one day with that machine. So wow. it's awesome. OK. Wow. Thank you. Arthur, wow. thank you very thank much. Thank you. Julio, come back here. I actually wanted you to stay anyway. Where are you, Julio? Yes, please, 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 please. We'll get you a mic while you're yes. up here, so you can just hold it up close. <coughs> we invited you on stage because you're speaking on Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were just really impressed with the number of people from Taiwan here. Yeah, Tell us, yeah. why Taiwan? Why are you here? Uh, because uh, there are lots of uh, maker activity in Taiwan with our uh, very strong, high-quality uh, manufacturing power. Hmm. And uh, we are here because uh, we also know about that uh, uh, in the central of the Europe, of the, in the Netherlands, they also have a uh, lot of uh, maker ac activity. We are yes. trying to bridge, bridge from the Europe to, to Taiwan. Uh, and it's a really interesting connection. Eh? If you can you know, send everything, all the files online anyway, and then you have all these production facilities in Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's an interesting combination, you yeah, know, yeah, those yeah, 3D yeah. printed well. Yeah, yeah. You're going to talk on Saturday, and you're also yeah. out there showing, right in the beginning, right, showing the things you are yeah, doing in Taiwan. Uh, we also have uh, some very uh, uh, precisely uh, uh, manufacturing uh, device uh, yeah. uh, outside of the, the, I think it's a number 10 booth. Yeah. So you guys can also uh, very welcome to see uh, we have a very precisely uh, a medi uh, device, can, uh, mechanical device can uh, help you to uh, prototype in your idea, uh, from your idea to product. Yeah. Okay, awesome. so for all the makers out there, go and check the future of manufacturing. It's Taiwan plus Europe, I'm yeah. sure. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very yeah. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe you can invite the last people on stage. This is, this is the, the winners of the refugee challenge, correct? Woo, woo, woo. This is exciting. So coming to the stage right now, we've officially finished one challenge of Campus Party so far. You can make some noise for that. One challenge is officially complete. Let's applaud that, Yay! please. <laughs> and we're going to get the chance to talk to the winners of that challenge right now. Now, while they walk on stage, can I just check how many people here have participated in one of the challenges? Okay. One, two, three. Good for you. I Excellent. guess some people are here to game, some people are here to listen, but some people are here to really create new things, and I like those people. So nice. here are two of them. It, introduce yourself. Where are you Hello. from? How, how did yes. you end up here? Go, go stand next to your Name other. and where you're from, and you can come right go, in go, the, go, in go, the stand middle stand space stand. where you belong here. Uh, my name's Callahan. Uh, I'm from the Design Academy. I'm here on Exchange, but I'm from Canada. Cool. Okay, and? My name is Alex. I am French. I'm studying business at the Dublin City University. And you have to share the mic, yeah. My name is David. I'm from Honduras, and I'm studying an MBA in Paris currently. Oh, wow. three countries. Excellent. I like that. I like that. Excellent. And what, what did you do together? What, what were you thinking of? How are we going to do something about the refugees? Uh, well, we, um, we have two projects. We had our project, and then we have your project, so we'll, I'll do mine real quick. Yeah, uh, and basically, then we'll go to it. Yeah. Uh, we sort of focused on the um, interaction of uh, the local community with, uh, in regards to the, the refugees that they're hosting in their area. Uh, and so we're, we're putting forth an idea that you can bring people together through cooking, um, mm -hmm. and from this cooking, you create a community, which then turns into a competition in the end through um, regional competitions and then national competitions and hopefully global competitions, um, sort of like Eurovision would do for singing, but 
through cooking. Um, and and it Korean. would be who will cook the best Syrian dish? Or? Well, it would be it'd be lo locally sourced dishes, uh, but also with an influence of the people that from where they've come. Um, and then in the process, cookbooks could be created and sold, and all that money that's generated can go back into ah. the, the refugee programs. Excellent. Clever, yeah. Excellent. very clever. So Honduras, yeah. <laughs> but, so, well, what did you come up with? Uh, so the project I proposed was an artificial intelligence chat application for refugees. Mm -hmm. So I wanted something very easy, simple, but smart, so that refugees can just ask a question like, uh, what what can I do here in Germany? Where's the closest um, asylum office? What what's the legislation? And uh, the chat can just pull up information from many other websites that are gathering this information, but might be too complicated or there's too much stuff uh, out there. And then we um, the idea is to have everything in one place uh, and simple to use at the same time. Very, very, very much nice. a 2016 idea as well. Eh? It's the year of these commerce conversational applications. Very nice. Wonderful. You know we're coming back to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. What did you win and what's next? I'm actually, uh, I've done the project. It's done. It's happened. No, 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 no. no, no, no. We, we won the... Yeah, but what did we win? What's next and what did you win? Yeah. Yeah. We win, I think we win... Um, the right to participate in a bigger competition, okay. which is uh, the Refugee Challenge. Treat, yeah, exactly. Global. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think if we win this one, the, the one winner wins 10,000 euros, euros nice. and a chance to, to work with the IKEA Foundation. And yeah. Uh, it's the IKEA so Foundation has lots of money to spend, and they work together with the UNHCR and yeah, Red Wars, and it. yeah, yeah. So this is not. Just an idea. This yeah. has potential yeah. to go somewhere and make it big. Very well, nice. So excellent. if you're not participating in challenges, now is a good time to get on board. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Holly, you can wrap up and tell everybody to not sleep. It's a waste of time. <laughs> and be back here tomorrow morning at <laughs> nine. <laughs> Sleep. Sleep is not a waste of time. Work and sleep and find a middle ground between the two. But that concludes day two of Campus Party. Please give yourselves a round of applause. The last of the Mohicans here live today. Mm -hmm. um, and we're back tomorrow. I think programming kicks off at... 11. Niche. 11 tomorrow. And we've got the first set of speakers here on the main stage at 1 p.m. So thank you all for hanging in tonight. And we are excited to see you back here again tomorrow. Eat, work, play. Sleep. Sleep. Okay. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Have a good night.